Hey tech enthusiasts, welcome to Nerdy Throwback Tech. Today, I am diving deep into a topic that has been bothering me for a long time. A camera related issue I've had for years with various Samsung phones. It's an issue that I always thought would be fixed in the next phone or software update, but that never seems to happen. At least not yet. So what am I talking about? When I take photos and the main subject is red, there is a lack of detail, and the red does not match the shades of the real color. But before we delve into more detail, here's a general overview of how a smartphone camera works. The camera in a modern smartphone is a complex system that involves several components and technologies working together to capture and process images. The camera system starts with a lens which gathers and focuses light onto the camera sensor. The aperture controls the amount of light that enters the lens. It opens wider in low light conditions to allow more light in and narrows in bright conditions. The lens focuses the light onto the camera sensor, which is a light sensitive chip that converts the light into electrical signals. The focusing mechanism, typically an autofocus system, adjusts the lens elements to ensure the image is sharp. The image sensor's output is a raw image that needs processing. The image signal processor, or ISP, handles tasks like color correction, noise reduction, and sharpening. The ISP also performs various image processing tasks, such as adjusting white balance, contrast, and sharpness. ISPs in modern smartphones are sophisticated and play a crucial role in enhancing image quality. To save storage space and facilitate sharing, the processed image is compressed using a technique like JPEG. This involves removing redundant information without compromising the overall quality of the image. Smartphones use advanced software algorithms, often powered by artificial intelligence, to optimize images. This includes features like HDR or high dynamic range, portrait mode, night mode, and scene recognition. Samsung's post-processing shenanigans are united under the name Scene Optimizer, an AI-powered feature that analyzes the scene being captured by the smartphone's camera and automatically adjusts settings to optimize the image quality. It utilizes a large database of reference images to identify the type of scene and apply appropriate enhancements. Scene Optimizer is designed to provide users with a more consistent and pleasing image quality across different types of scenes and lighting conditions. It can help to produce more vibrant colors, sharper details, and better balanced exposure, even in challenging environments. Most users don't know or care about these post-processing enhancements. They happen so fast thanks to modern computing power. Since the first Galaxy S1, I've used several Samsung smartphones over the years. My last three phones are Galaxy A5, Galaxy S10, and Galaxy S23. Great phones that I've been very happy with. That is why I continue to be a user of this brand. But recently, after a trip to Italy, I noticed something interesting and strange. This is yet another Samsung phone with a particular problem in the camera. The color red, let me explain. This is a photo of some flowers in Chamonix, a resort town in the French Alps located just north of Mont Blanc, the highest mountain in Western Europe. It is from September 2019 and taken with the Galaxy A5. If I zoom in, you can see that the outlines of the red leaves are more vague than those of the pink ones. But to give you a clearer example, let's jump a few years forward to 2022 and Galaxy S10. A photo of a red flower again, and a complete mess. Lack of details. The red color looks extremely vivid. Shooting conditions are good, clear weather and lots of light. It should be easy for the camera to capture this scene. If the color is more orange, the photos of the flowers look fine. The issue only occurs with the red flowers. Here's another photo with the same phone of other flowers, but red again. And again, the camera struggles. The colors in the photo are different from the real ones. Unfortunately, I don't have pictures from another camera to compare them for you. However, I have another example. Let's skip ahead in time again. A month ago, I went to a car museum in Italy, the Alfa Romeo Museum, a renowned Italian automobile manufacturer known for its sporty vehicles and rich motorsport heritage. And what color is typical for their cars? Of course, it's red. While taking photos in the museum, I notice that what I see as color does not correspond to what is captured in a photo. Of course, the differences are not big, but they are still there. I was equipped with the latest Galaxy S23 phone, Samsung's best, along with the optional Expert RAW app. 
Expert RAW is Samsung's advanced camera app for its Galaxy smartphones. As the name suggests, Expert RAW is built around shooting in the RAW image format, complete with a wider dynamic range for more detail in bright and dark areas of a photo and maximum editing potential. These 16-bit RAW image files are around 30 megabytes each, compared to 3 for the standard app's JPEGs. These larger file sizes are intended for editing rather than distribution, so you'll need to be familiar with RAW editing software, such as Lightroom or Photoshop, to make the most of these images. At the museum, I shot photos in both standard JPEG and RAW, and for that reason, I can now show you the differences. This is a photo straight from the default camera app. The red color of the car is a little bit pinkish. And if I open the RAW photo in Photoshop, you can see the difference instantly. The red color is much closer to the real thing, without touching any additional settings at all. I can, of course, play with other adjustments and image corrections, but that's not the point. Two photos, same camera, same conditions, different image formats. Why the Samsung image processing can't handle this color for several years now? There must be a logical explanation. I searched the internet for information but couldn't find any. And I'm probably not the first to notice this issue. I posted a thread on Reddit, but almost no one responded. So I can't tell you why this is happening, but rather I would ask you why. As I said at the beginning of the video, the camera system in a smartphone is a very complex one, but Samsung is not a small player. I will continue to enjoy using my phone. It's rare for me to photograph something with a predominant red color. And if I have an issue, I already know the solution, but I'm just curious.